so uh, start out with um, uh, SIG. Um, nice, nicely fitted, as you know. You know, very squared off at uh, in the front there. Um, does come with night sights from the factory, a dot in the front and a bar in the back, so that's pretty nice. Uh, the SIG rear sight is fully adjustable for windage and elevation. If you look here, though, you can see that this is a Novak cut. The uh, the cut is uh, all the way to the front of the sight in the in the front. The back, you got a little bit of a cut here, and then it comes and slopes out, and just basically a straight cut towards the back. Uh, this sight does work real well. Um, I have ordered a couple of those, and you can get them so that they can uh, fit other guns. Um, although, unfortunately, SIG won't install them on somebody else's uh, gun besides theirs. But it, um, you know, they, they did come with this gun. This is a, a SIG uh, Sawyer STX, and, um, you know, uh, it is uh, all stainless, uh, stainless uh, frame, stainless slide with the uh, with the black top, and uh, and it does shoot real nice. It's got a little uh, beveled mag well here, and uh, you can get these and put them on yourself. Uh, some nowadays, a lot of them come with these uh, mag wells. Uh, so that's the Sig. Uh, came with about a four and uh, three quarter a pound trigger. Sent it away. It's got a four pound trigger now. This is a uh, Smith and Wesson. Okay, uh, Performance Center. Their uh, Magwell bottom is uh, Smith Enterprises, I believe. Uh, again, you can get this and just install it yourself if you really like those. Um, I'm not that fond of them, but if they come with them, I leave them on. Uh, they're great for competition. Um, stainless barrel. Um, no night sights. These are target sights. Target in the back and target in the front. The nice thing about the, si the uh, Smith is that it's actually a Wilson Combat uh, sight. And it's pr you probably can't see anything in this lighting here. But uh, it's a Wilson Combat sight. I can actually take the back off and they have different backs that you can pop on there. Um, it works pretty nice. It's got a really nice trigger. Out of the box, this is about three and a half pounds. Um, it's got a memory groove safety and all that means is it's got this extra bump out here. Instead of it being flat, it's got that little extra bump. And uh, that's really popular now, of course, with the beaver tail. Without the beaver tail, definitely uh, bites you uh, pretty easily. Uh, but this is a nice gun. Uh, no issues. Uh, performance center. So, um, you know. Now, one of the things here you'll notice, it has an external extractor. Um, SIG and uh, Smith & Wesson are the only ones doing the external extractors anymore. Everybody else is using the traditional internal extractors. They do work fine on both of these guns, but uh, for a while Kimber was making them with the external extractors and they didn't work at all. Um, not a good design from them. Um, all right, so if at all possible though, you know, like I said, if you want to change anything or really do some uh, stuff to it, external extractor is going to be a little different, right, because it's, you're going to have to use their parts for that piece of it. Uh, so this is a, um, a Colt, uh, probably hard to see here, it's called a Colt Ace, and uh, uh, this is the 22 conversion, you can tell, because it's got a little cut right here, which basically gives you a floating cylinder. That floating chamber uh, makes it so that it, a 22, but it feels like the recoil of a 45. This is your standard uh, Colt type adjustable sight where it's milled right into the top of the slide there. And you can see this is the old beaver tail, which is why I pulled that out. So, um, you know, you've got that flush all the way down and that beaver tail, which, you know, if you ride your hand up too high, now my, I'm lucky, I don't have a lot of meat back there, but if you got a lot of meat back there, a lot of guys, you know, get uh, railroad tracks in their, on their skin when you don't have that beaver tail coming off the back. Um, but I use this a lot. I love the 22. Um, it's, uh, you know, nice uh, shooting cheap ammo there. All right, uh, this is the Kimber. This is a Super Match 2. Uh, it used to have a stainless slide and a black Kim Pro top. Um, I decided that I wanted it all black, so I had them Kim Pro the whole thing for me. And, uh, you know, again, I, had them, I also had them install this memory groove uh, safety. Uh, they do it right there at the, at the Kimber factory. You can pretty much have them do almost anything for you. Standard uh, Kimber um, rear sights. You can see the Bomar cut, very different. Straight up and down in the front, flat across the back, and then that little Bomar cut there. And uh, hopefully you can see that. And uh, that works, uh, you know, that's great for uh, target sights. Uh, black in the front, black in the back uh, does pick up real well when you're shooting uh, targets. And uh, it's done well. You can tell this is the uh, 
uh, full uh, the full guide rod in there, and you can see that little edge, that little lip in there, right? That's that's actually the um, the buffer spring holder. If I take out the uh, thing here, um, close her up. You can see in the front. You know, you can see that guide rod is now pushed down into it. So we know it's not a two-piece because the guide rod is lower than the uh, than the buffer spring. And you know, I could I could just push that in with my fingers. Of course, it is nicer with a you know with one of those tools. And Kimber gives you one in the box. Uh, you know, you don't get the groove in your finger there. But uh, but it's easy enough to push in if you had to without any problems. Um, again, one of these uh, magwells, they come off uh, relatively easily if you don't like them. Most of the guns don't come with those. Um, nice trigger right out of the box. This was about three and a half pounds. Um, so, you know, this shoots great. This is uh, probably the uh, most used uh, 1911 I have, or maybe the most used handgun. Probably have 10 to 15,000 rounds through this one um, without any issues. You can see the finish is just absolutely perfect still. Um, the Kim Pro 2 just doesn't come off. This is a, uh, a Colt Gold Cup. It is a new one uh, with the target back sights. Uh, it's stainless. I like the stainless on this because it's bead blasted at the top, so no reflections. Sides are a little shiny, so uh, you know it looks nice. Comes with this wraparound uh, grips. Some people love them, some people don't. Um, I do have a set of uh, wooden grips that I'm going to put on this. I just haven't gotten around to, uh, to doing it. It takes a couple seconds. Take out the screws, put the wooden grips on if you like it. But uh, like I said, a lot of people do like this. It gives a nice, uh, a nice good purchase on the, uh, on the gun. You can see uh, Colt has now moved to these memory uh, safeties with the beaver tail. Their beaver tail is a little bit fatter, uh, but not as long. Um, but it works just fine, you know, no issues with it, and, uh, you know, that's all matte finished on that. Um, nice thing is that, uh, most of the Colts have a steel, uh, mainspring housing, where most of the other manufacturers have now moved to plastic. Um, but, uh, Colt still makes them all steel. And, uh, again, nice sights in the back, you know, you, no, no issues with that. Got the nice, uh, the nice cutout. Uh, just like the Colt does. Same size, same cut. I could move these sights back and forth between this and the Kimber all day long. And the same thing with the front. Nice and dovetailed in. You know, I could take that out, put a red dot in there, put a, you know, put a uh, fiber optic in there or, uh, you know, a night sight. Uh, pretty much anything I want. Uh, this is uh, what you consider the XSE with a rail. So they call this the Colt rail gun. And um, same deal, you know, um, identically machined to the last one I just showed you. Uh, of course, it comes with the uh, wooden grips instead of the wraparound on the front. And um, what we got here is the, uh, the rail. Um, so, you know, it adds a couple ounces of weight there. Um, and, of course, we've got the uh, Novak cuts, which, you know, comes up at that edge here, flat in the back, right? So you can tell the difference between the Novak cuts. This does come with white dots, not adjustable. And the last one I have to show you is um, is this uh, Springfield Armory. This is the FBI hostage rescue team gun. Um, it's got basically an operator slide and uh, and a um, a railed bottom. Uh, the first bunch uh, didn't come with a rail. Then FBI decided they wanted a rail, so uh, Springfield uh, made the rail in there. Come with a memory groove safety, nice beaver tail. Comes with the Novak um, sights. They actually make these in house. Uh, two dot in the back, one dot in the front. These are, uh, you know, night sights right from the factory. And, uh, and the wood grips, and of course the magazine bevels. So this is exactly how they're issued to the FBI hostage rescue team. Haven't changed anything on it. Out of the box, four and a half pounds. I sent it back. They're three and a half pounds now. But, um, one gun's on shot, even though uh, they did shoot it there to get me at three and a half pounds. You'll notice uh, some of the guns have checkering in the front strap and some don't. Um, I personally like the checkering in the front, but, uh, you know, um, it does have a lot of, uh, you know, these. this is a pretty hard checkering on your hand there. If you're going to do a lot of shooting, it might rip into your skin a bit. But, uh, but I do like the checkering on the front right, uh, right there. You don't have to worry about putting anything, any wraps. Personal preference um, on the checkering. Some come with it, some don't. All right, so... Um so I was saying about the checkering on the uh, hostage rescue team guns. Some come, some don't. So Sig Sours, um, you got to look at them, but uh, the STX does have it. Uh, most of their guns do have it. 
most of the C, the uh, Kimbers have the checkering on the front. Um, you know, this is a little bit finer checkering, uh, so it doesn't rip into your skin as much as that Husky Resistance Team gun. Uh, also, the the FBI gun is made for you know guys wearing with and without gloves. You know, so um, it makes a little bit of a difference. But uh, but this checkering is really nice on the uh, on those uh, on those Kimbers, and um, the Smith has it. Okay, pretty much identical. In fact, for a long time, Smith used to make the forgings for Kimber um, until Kimber decided to make their own forging. So uh, very, very similar guns there. And you can see this is a little bit more like the FBI gun, uh, just a little bit uh, coarser um, on the uh, on that SIG. And um, this particular gun here, I didn't show it to you before, uh, this is a, a special combat government by Colt. Um, it took two years to have them make this uh, for me, a uh, custom gun, some uh, G10 grips on it. Um, I've never shot it. Um, it is uh, probably the prettiest gun I have. Uh, it is actually um, not stainless, even though it looks like it's stainless. Uh, this is hard chromed. And, um, you know, uh, Magwell at the bottom, they are handmade uh, one at a time. Um, target sights in the front and the back, all black. Uh, you can see it's got that standard memory groove uh, safety on there. I mean, this is just an incredible gun. Comes with a target in the box to prove how accurate it is. And a trigger on this is uh, probably about three and a quarter pounds per cell. Um, the same thing goes for the, uh, the Kimber I was telling you about. Um, this is a, a target gun out of the box. It comes with a target, uh, literally to prove that it will shoot one inch at 25 yards or better. Um, not too many companies will, will guarantee that. It'll be Kimber, those high-end Colts, um, Springfield Armory and their custom guns, they, they will all guarantee it. And Les Bear um, will guarantee one inch at 25 yards. Wilson Combat will get, um, guarantee one inch at uh, 15 yards. And uh, the Colt will be 15 yards, but it'll be uh, half an inch. So, um, so that's pretty much it.